What a thrill it is to be here in Asbury Park to recognize the people who make New Jersey so special. And I am especially honored to be able to induct two women who are role models for all of us in the way they lived their lives and in the, the drive and passion they brought to the causes in which they believed. Our first inductee was a teacher and a champion for educators in the Garden State. Elizabeth Almira Allen helped to make New Jersey a leader in education. And it came from firsthand experience. She served the children and community of Hoboken for 48 years. Let's learn a little bit more about her. Elizabeth Elmira Allen was a lifelong teacher's rights advocate. She began her teaching career in Hoboken. At 28, she was named Vice President of the New Jersey Teachers Association, gaining recognition as an advocate for teachers' tenure and retirement programs. In 1896, the first U.S. teacher retirement law was passed in New Jersey. Membership was voluntary. Within three months, Elizabeth and her team enrolled more than half of the state's teachers. In 1913, she became the first woman president of the NJEA. Tonight, we honor her pioneering spirit. That kind of leadership is why I am honored to induct Elizabeth Almira Allen into the New Jersey Hall of Fame as the first member of the class of 2018. I also have the distinct pleasure of inducting another great Garden State woman into the Hall of Fame. Born in 1907, Mary G. Roebling went to school in Haddonfield and Moorestown and earned pocket money picking strawberries for a penny a box. When her second husband died, she took his board seat and quickly became the president of Trenton Trust. She was only 30 years old and would continue as a leader in business for nearly 50 years. As Forbes magazine once wrote about her, and I quote, Mary G. Roebling didn't wait for women's lib. She was ahead of it, way ahead. Let's learn a little bit more about her. Mary Roebling was a banker, businesswoman, and philanthropist. Mary was born in West Collingwood. When her second husband died in 1936, he left her Trenton Trust stock. She took his seat on the board and later became the first woman to serve as president of a major bank, remaining active for 50 more years. Mary served with the Atlantic Congress for NATO and the White House Congress on refugee programs. She was also the first woman governor of the American Stock Exchange. Mary Roebling died in 1994 in Trenton. Tonight we honor her outstanding legacy by inducting her into our Hall of Fame. And Mary Roebling herself once said, I made work my hobby. I was lucky that way. Well, success like hers takes lots more than luck. Thanks to her tireless advocacy in advancing a greater role for women, in the country's economic affairs, we are honored to induct Mary G. Roebling into the New Jersey Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you. 